Greetings and welcome back to the lab. It's time for another episode of Project Package Preview. Uh, basically my unboxing series. So uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I think it's all related to the same project, which is a new project that I'm going to mention now. Um, and I'm going to pull some of this stuff out of the way real quick so because it's just taking up a lot of room on camera. And we'll get to, actually we'll do this one first because somebody got excited and thought it was their package. So hasn't actually been opened. It's just the, uh, the, bo the wrapping around the box. And if I'm not mistaken, this will be a 3D print. And it'll give you a clue what I'm working on. I mean, I've got another 3D print, or I should, and I'll open that one up and you get more of an idea. So, let's see. I'm kind of excited to see how this came out. I know what it is, obviously, because I designed it. But I wanted to see... Ooh, interesting. I can see there's a little bit more packaging to it this time. They put it... They put it in a Ziploc. Interesting. All right, well, let's pull this out. Is this the big one or the smaller one? Interesting. All right. Well, what does that remind you of? The older viewers will probably have a better idea. That is interesting. So I'm going to leave that a mystery while I unbox the others. That's just different that they did it that way. Let's see. I think this is going to be the same thing. Another 3D print. So let's about opening this up. And I basically did the same thing in a couple of different sizes because I wanted to see the difference between them. Also, I think I did this one in a different color. So that should be interesting. Different color, different material. Yep. So I haven't... interesting. Just a random piece, I guess, to fill out the box. This one is wrapped differently. It's in, like, paper. Maybe that has something to do with the material. Yeah, this is the deeper one. So I don't know if that'll give you more of a clue. Interesting, there's, there's something shiny on the side here. But that'll give you a little bit more of a clue. Let me pull out the other one just for difference here. Uh, well, let me pull it out all the way. And hopefully by now this starts to remind you of something. Uh, and I'll show you that they are indeed different depths uh, from front to back. They have the same cutout, which is going to be for a power connector. Ooh, did I screw something up? I got the power connector horizontal here, but vertical here? I don't know if I screwed that up. I'm going to have to figure that one out. So one of these might not be usable. Interesting. There's also another sort of interesting story to this. Uh, I'm going to put this away for safekeeping. And I'm going to leave this one out. And let's get the next box to open. And so when I designed this, uh, I designed it with a circuit board in mind also. And I realized that I screwed something up on a circuit board versus the 3D print. So there's actually a third one coming. And that third one, I can't remember if I printed in white or black. Um, but it accounts for the mistake I made. So basically there is an oopsie version of that and there is an oopsie version of the uh, circuit board. The One of these is the oopsie circuit board. So I just figured since I had already ordered them and they were already in production when I realized the problem, I might as well make a, a 3D print that matched the 
mistaken circuit board. And so yeah, I had these printed in black. But if I did it right, I should be able to match the circuit board against the back of that 3D print. And we'll see how this came out. I did some interesting other things with it. Like I put a little outline on the front of it. Yeah, this is the oopsie version, which ultimately the power connector is down here. And what I meant to do was move it all the way to the edge of the board, but I didn't do that. So this is the one that's going to require the new 3D print that's on the way. And yeah, it's also bigger. So this is not going to fit on either one of these 3D prints. But I got them. And they'll be there for the future. So let me put this in a box. And get one more. So have you figured out what it is yet? A bit of a mess to clean up now. So this should be the circuit board that will fit. More packing material. And this is in the supposedly easy open package. Yep. That worked. Finally figured out how to do that. So you can see these are a little bit smaller. And I have moved the power connector. Wow. <laughs> That'll give you a sense of size here. The silica gel. Might also give you a hint to what this is. But uh, it's a tiny little package. I mean, I'll put my thumb next to it. That'll give you some more scale. Uh, and I don't have a gigantic thumb. So let's see. This should sit right on the back here. I am still missing one piece to this puzzle. Oh, that's a tight fit. But it does, I think it does fit. Uh, now, if you can imagine, the power connector is here. It'll then be able to stick out the side. So the fun part's going to be I'm going to have to kind of feed it in like that and then squeeze it in, and i got to hope that my tolerances, tolerances are good for holding all this together. This might be hard to get back out. Huh. I wonder if my tolerances are off. Now, i got a couple of little holes here. The plan is ultimately to put some screws in here so it'll hold everything together. And another part of the plan is to put a piece of diffusion material at the front here so that whatever is behind it, this whole circuit board that I've developed, if I populate it with resistors on the left here and LEDs here, and this is all for 12 volts, if I do it like that, then when I have the diffusion material here, it should diffuse the actual light coming from those LEDs. So they can be blinking, they can be RGB, they could be a solid color making a pattern. I've got a whole bunch of different ideas. I've got five of these to play with. Uh, I may have to do some filing or something to get these to actually fit in here because it seems like a really tight fit. Let me see if I've got the other. Let's see if it fits better in the other one. I do have one more package to open, but I'm a little excited. I wanted to see what this all looks like. So there's that. There's, okay, yeah, it goes in that orientation. And it should sit. Oh, it fits almost perfectly in this particular resin. This resin seems a bit harder, less flexible. So... I might not be doing much more with this resin, I, but I, I've been doing all my prints with the same resin, and I just wanted to try something different. And I kind of like the, the color. They call it a gray, not a, a full black. I forget exactly what it is but uh, with the material, but I'll, I'll, I'll put a link or put a, a note right above my finger here. There we go. That one does snap in. It does feel good. I'm happy to see that it, that it fits. It looks like, yeah, looks like I can still fit the resistors in here without them interfering with the sides. 
instead of doing conventional posts, I just put little square pieces here and made them, I think it's five millimeters deep. That should be good enough for a five millimeter screw, which is what I've ordered up. And then when I put that together, I can screw it on. That'll keep it from just falling out. So yeah, I'm a happy camper. That's looking good. Let's put this aside. Put those aside carefully. And we've got this one. Which, if you remember, I just mentioned a component. Yep. These are a variety pack of resistors. These are 0805 or 0212, something like that. Uh, basically, 2 millimeters by 1.2, something like that. So they're tiny, tiny little resistors, but I want to give surface mount another try and see if I can actually manage to do that with these circuit boards. So just to give you a quick idea, uh, this is, I've got six LEDs across. This is a 12 volt source. So that first LED, uh, first resistor up there goes to the first three. The second one goes to the next three. So you can do calculations and figure out what size resistors you need to put in here. I bought the variety pack in the general area of what I figure those resistors are going to need to be. I can put various different resist, uh, LEDs in there. I can put three millimeter, I can put five millimeter, and it turns out I can also put the same size. I have some LEDs coming that are also the 0805, which should actually fit neatly between these two pads, these two holes for each of the LEDs. So I'm probably going to try a all surface mount version of this. And that's going to be interesting because this is all very small, but I need to get some practice in because I've got other ideas and to have the ability, my own skill, to be able to do the surface mount would be a good thing. I don't know if I can get all the way down to like an 0201 uh, size package. Those are really tiny. But this will save me a lot of room over the conventional resistors. And if I can do the LEDs and if the options are out there, this is a good thing. So I'm very happy to have what I have. Now I've got to go put it all away in an organized fashion so it doesn't all fall. And uh, next video on this, we'll try to build one. Yep, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching.